Welcome to the Geek's Attic. This is a book haul. So I did that thing we all do in 2020 when we go out in public, put the mask on, went to the store, in this case, the bookstore, to go look for some treasure. Yes, books. I love books. I love going to the used bookstore and seeing what they have in stock. You know, it's always different. The used books, they come, they go, whatever. Now, moving on, let's get to the first book. Guys, this is not a novelization, but it says at the top, now a major motion picture from 20th Century Fox. This is The Abyss from the Hugo and Nebula award-winning author Orson Scott Card. Uh, based on the original screen... Oh, wait, this is a novelization uh, based on the original screenplay by James Cameron. Wow, that's nice. I didn't know that this was the actual novelization. Okay, I thought it was just, hey, here's a book that's going to be turned into a movie. So it says at the top, The ocean holds many secrets. One of them is trying to tell us something. The abyss. So that's cool. I'm, I'm excited about that. I did not know that this was actually the novelization. So that makes this entire book stack that I have to show you a novelization book haul. I'm happy. This next book, I already had a copy, but it's not in that great of condition. The one that I found recently is in very, very good condition. I was so happy. It's a hard book to find. On eBay, I paid like $18 for it. At the store that I found it, it was only $2.99. So, from the last I've checked, it was a hard book to find on eBay, and it wasn't cheap. So when I saw it in the bookstore, my hand just went straight to it, and I got Ghostbusters 2 by Ed Naha, based on the screenplay by Harold Ramis and Dan Aykroyd. I like Ghostbusters 2. I don't care what people say about it. It's great. It's got, you know, movie pictures on the back, and you get the cast photo on the front there, so that's cool. Very happy to have found this. For like $2.99. Paid, like I said, I paid $18 for it. It had like stickers on it. The spine was all beat up and, you know, white lines going down it. This, not a single line on that spine. Awesome find. This next one, I also already had a copy of it, but this one is like, a, you know, much better condition, which is why I get some of these books duplicated because I find it in better condition than the one that I had uh, because I recently opened it up like just a few days ago, I would I wouldn't pick the I wouldn't have picked this up if I didn't pick up the first copy that I had uh, and open it up to find that it was ready to fall apart. And that would be Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So this one is in much better condition. Uh, the one that I had felt like it was going to uh, break in half when I opened it up. So cool. And of course, the author James Kahn, adapted from the screenplay by Willard Hook and Gloria Katz, based on a story by George Lucas. This is also my favorite Indiana Jones film. The next book is actually the most magical story ever told, at least according to the top of the book. It is Santa Claus the Movie. Um, it says, Elf Made. It's like a little stamp on the book. Uh, it's a novel by Joan D. Vinge, based on a story by David and Leslie Newman. Screenplay by David Newman. Now, this is not the Santa Claus movie that most of us know. Um, I, I've actually never heard of Santa Claus the movie, um, but there it is. It's a novelization. Uh, the, I, I'm not going to read the back, but hey, cool find. Maybe I'll read it this Christmas. This next one, I actually have not seen the movie. Well, I did see the movie once on DVD, but I wasn't paying attention. It was like me and a couple friends hanging out and the TV was playing and it was on. The guy had the DVD. He said, I got this DVD. Nobody cared. We didn't pay attention. And that would be um, X-Men. Uh, now a major blockbuster from 20th Century Fox. A novelization by Kristen, Kristen Catherine Rush and Dave Weasley Smith. Now based on the movie written by Christopher McQuarrie and Ed Solomon. So there it is. X-Men. I have no knowledge of anything X-Men. I just know that they're like mutants. That's it. This next book, I actually just did a watch along on the channel with this. It's a Marvel tale. It is Iron Man. That's right. We have the Iron Man novelization up here at the top. It says, soon to be a major motion picture from Marvel Studios. So this is pretty cool. It came out before the film did. And the novelization is written by Peter David, based on the screenplay by Mark Fergus and Hawk Otsby. So 
There it is. Iron Man. On the back it says, The Original Heavy Metal Hero. Launching into theaters in May 2008. So that's cool. And like I mentioned, I just did a watch along with this. I'm going to be doing all of the Marvel films live. Live watch alongs. That's right. Every Thursday in August and until I finish the Marvel series and I'm all caught up. So there it is. Iron Man. So with this last book, there was a little bit of confusion involved in the reasoning for picking it up. I thought that I had the first part of the story, so I thought, hey, I'll get the second part of the story. And then when I realized I was shooting this video that, uh, oh, oops, <laughs> I didn't get it. It was something else. It was Iron Man. I thought it was Spider-Man because I picked up Spider-Man 2, uh, the official novelization of the film, Spider-Man 2, by Peter David. Peter David also did the Iron Man novelization, so adds to the confusion. It's based on the motion picture screenplay by Alvin Sargent, screen story by David Coop and Alfred Goh and Miles Miller, based on the Marvel comic book by Stan Lee and Steve Ditko. That'll do it for this novelization book haul. Guys, if you like novelizations, you need to click out the link down below. There's a channel that was created, Paper Movies Book Club. Me and a couple other guys, we pick a novelization each month, we read it, and we discuss it at the end of each month. It's a lot of fun. It's, it's a cool little internet book club that we have going. I hope you guys go check that out. There's also a link to my Redbubble store where I've created a bunch of Expanded Universe merchandise. Go check that out. Guys, find me at thegeeksaddict.com and across all social media at thegeeksaddict. Have a good one.